In this video, I'm going to show you how to install R and RStudio. And I'm also gonna explain the difference between R and RStudio. And if you haven't seen my last video about R versus SPSS, be sure to see that linked in the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in CRAN R. And then the first website that pops up, the Comprehensive R Archive Network, that's what you're gonna click on. And you get to a page like this, and depending on your operating system, um, it's gonna be different. So I'm gonna click on Download R for Mac OS. And then the first one there, I'm going to click on that, and then save it to my Downloads folder. Of course, if you are on a PC, you would click on the PC link and then download that wherever you wanna download that. And then from there, it's just the same as installing any other software. You double click on the link and then follow the prompts to install it. So for me, I'm gonna click on that file right there. It's gonna open it and then continue, continue, continue. Just accept the defaults, that's fine. And then agree, choose your location and install. Now I'm not actually gonna install it because I already have R installed, but that's how you would install R. And then once you have installed R, you can open it. If you are on a Mac, you would go through Applications and then choose R. If you are on a PC, you would go to Program Files, I think, and then choose R. And then you would have something that looks like this. So we're actually not going to use native R like this, but uh, you could use it as a fancy calculator. Two times five, for example, 10. There, you have R. Yay, hooray, hallelujah. Wait a minute, did you just say we're not actually gonna use R? Yes, yes I did. We're not gonna use R, we're gonna use R Studio. What's the difference? I'm so glad you asked. So you remember in the last video I talked about how R is like teaching yourself to be a carpenter, whereas SPSS is like buying everything at Walmart? Well, let's continue that analogy a little bit further. So R is like having a massive garage with all the tools you could ever need to build anything you could ever need. But that garage isn't air conditioned and there are no instructions for any of the tools. And so you walk in there and you're really on your own to figure out how to build things. And if you know what you're doing, you can step into R and comfortably do exactly what you need to do. So if that's what R is, R Studio is like an air conditioned workshop where there are instructional videos at every single tool. So R Studio is software that is designed and specialized to make it as easy as possible for you to use R. And it's designed to make it as efficient as possible. And so what I would recommend you doing, if you're new to R, I would just use R Studio. Even if you're a veteran, I would use R Studio. I'm a veteran and I use R Studio. Why? Because it's easier, it's faster, it's more efficient, and it's just basically awesome. That's all there is to it. So to install our studio, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our browser and I'm going to search for our studio. And then you get search results that look like this and then you can click on download the R studio IDE. IDE means integrated development environment. And you probably would only know what IDE means if you have background in computer programming or anything like that, but Basically that whole idea behind having an air conditioned workshop with all the instructions you could ever need, that's what an IDE is, integrated development environment. So, and they have all these options. I have never in my life paid for RStudio. I don't even know why you would need that. So just go to the free download and then click on the download RStudio for Mac. If you're on a Mac, if you're on Windows, then you would download one of these, although it'd probably natively detect what you would have and then give you the recommended one. And then you click on that, download it, and install the program. I'm not going to do that, but if you were to do that, you would get something that looks something like this. Um, the location of the Windows might be a little bit different for you, and that's totally cool. But this right here is our studio. So just like before, we could click down here where it says console and we could do two times five or whatever I did before. So you could use that as calculator. Uh, but, but that would be like driving a Ferrari to take your kids to school. Um, a little overkill, but you can do it. So that's how you would install them. In the next couple of videos, I'm gonna show you how to use R and R Studio and how to become a our carpenter ninja sort of person. So with that, peace out.